and a one. The Wallflowers first rose to fame with their album, Bringing Down the Horse. They went on to win seven grand, oh, I'm sorry, two Grammys and sell over seven million records worldwide before going on hiatus in 2007. Everybody needs a break, just we, we don't get them, that's all. The band is back and Micah Jesse was at the John, Var John Varvato store in New York to get some deets about their new music from Jacob Dylan himself. Katie, seriously, One Headlight was one of my favorite songs growing up, so naturally I am super psyched to be hanging out with Jacob Dylan from The Wallflowers here in New York City on, what would you call this? Is this like, this isn't a tour bus. No, this is a trailer. It's a trailer. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They've got some food over there. We're hanging out on the couches. This is where y'all hang out before your show. So they're about to take the stage uh, for the Bowery Presents concert series where they're going to be performing for a very intimate audience. Now, what's that like um, as opposed to performing for a huge audience? Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a more intimate performance. Yeah, but it takes all kinds. We do all kinds. The big shows are big shows, and these are just as important. Sometimes they're, they're a lot more fun for everybody. Usually they are. And definitely less stressful. Uh, sometimes more stressful. Sometimes less people is more stressful because uh, you can feel their eyes a little more. For sure. Now, what's it like after seven years? Um, you guys haven't made any music together since, for seven years. What's, what's it like now b being back together? It's just like falling off a bike. <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. Just like getting on a bike again. Um, <laughs> No, you know, it's, we're all friendly. We all, you know, we, during our break, we all saw plenty of each other. So it wasn't, uh, we didn't have the real big animosity that bands usually have when they take breaks or break up. We didn't break up. We just all wanted to do some different things. So we were nothing but excited to get back in there. It all, it all came right back. For sure. Now, the album's called Glad, Glad All Over. Sometimes when groups break up or take some time off, they come back and the sound is still the same, but other times they come back and the sound is completely different. What can fans of yours expect to hear from the new sound? Well, uh, if you know what makes the Wallflowers tick, it's there. I think it sounds different, but not intentionally. We just, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason most of the time. You just get back together in the room and everybody brings their influences in. And uh, I don't think we have a sound to protect. We just, whatever comes out of our minds, that's what we're going to do. And I think people, you know, because my voice is in there and that's constant and keyboards have been there from the beginning, it's going to, you won't be too surprised. Now, your new music video, I loved it. Um, it's called Reboot the Mission, and it could be mistaken for a viral video with the pop and lock guy. Well, where did you guys find that guy and what was the concept for that? That was kind of the idea. Have you seen those videos? There's some really incredible ones of people doing that. And there are, the director, Sam Jones, we worked with. But that was his idea. The trick was to make something believable. It wasn't us dancing. It wasn't us walking around boom boxes. You know, it was us in the studio doing our thing. But the images were good, I thought. This is more of a free fall mayhem. And, you know, we stick to the songs. We, we play songs people like. But we try to keep it loose every night. And that's where you want to be, which is just in an area where you just don't know what's going to happen. For sure. I can't wait. you got to get ready for the show. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to go get front row. Um, thanks for hanging out with Access TV, Access Live. Um, um, fans of the Wallflowers can pick up their new album, Glad All Over, when it drops in stores on October 9th. And stay up to date with tour dates and more information on thewallflowers.com. Are, are you on Twitter? Do you ever tweet your fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're catching up. Okay. We're there. I bet you tweet. You do, I right? do. I'm a big tweeter. I can tell. I already tweeted our picture. Oh, really? Yeah. Why not? All right. All right. Well, thanks cool. a lot for tuning in. Back to you in L.A., Katie. Bye. Hey. <laughs> uh, thank you. And that Twitter picture was adorable. You know what?